رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن استنى بالسنة إلى يوم الدين All praise due to Allah and may Allah's peace and blessings be on his last Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on all those who follow the path of righteousness until the last day. The topic which was presented in the khutbah today was Hajj. But it was Hajj within a particular context. The context of the principle of thanking Allah for his blessings. And this is a principle which has been emphasized in the Quran and in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad in a variety of different ways. Allah has blessed us by bringing us into existence in this life and in the course of our lives we enjoy a variety of different blessings which Allah has given us without are necessarily deserving them and in reply to that we are required by God to worship Him and worship is an expression of thanks for the blessings which Allah has given us this is why the core prayer in Islam in our core prayer, the main prayer that we pray in each unit of every compulsory prayer as well as voluntary prayer, which is done in a formal fashion, we begin by saying Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All thanks, all praise is due to Allah, Lord of all the worlds. So even in the the essence of our prayer, we are guided by Allah to begin our worship, to begin our prayer by thanking Allah for the many blessings which He has given us. And we have many examples uh, from the statements of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu wherein he said, for example, that you should look to those below you and not look to those above you with regards to the materials of this life because there is always somebody who has less than you so if you look to those below you who have less than you then this is better to remind you about the blessings which Allah has given you if you look always at those above you then it is easy for you to deny that Allah has given you anything you will question Allah, why didn't you give me like you gave him? So you become ungrateful instead of being thankful. This is why the Prophet Muhammad advised us to look to those below us. So that we would remember the grace and the blessings which Allah has given us. And when you look at all of the various pillars of Islam, the fundamentals which make up the structure of Islam, the declaration of faith is fundamentally a declaration to the community that you have recognized Allah, His mercy on you, and your preparedness to serve Him. The prayer, five times daily prayer, again, you are taking out of your time taking out of your your day which generally speaking is devoted to providing for your material needs and remembering God thanking Allah for the blessings He has given you so your day is organized around the remembrance of God and giving thanks to Him. Fasting. We are giving up food to be able to better appreciate the blessing of food. 
to remember God and to give thanks to Him. Zakah. Again, we are taking out of our money, giving it in charity, compulsory charity, to those in need, giving thanks to Allah for what He has given us. He has blessed us with this wealth, and we show our gratitude to Him by sharing some of that wealth with those who are in need. And Hajj. Hajj, which has with it all of the previous pillars, sacrifices in time, in wealth, psychological, economic, spiritual, it combines everything in that short period. And it is the one major sacrifice that we are required to make once in a lifetime. And the Imam began talking about Hajj and the sacrifices of Hajj by quoting a verse, وَلَا تُسْأَلُنَّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ عَنِ النَّعِيمِ that you will be asked on that day, on the day of judgment, about the blessings which Allah gave you. Allah will ask, when we stand before God for judgment, He will ask us about what we did with the blessings which He gave us. Then He went on to point out, as Allah states in the Quran, وَلِلَّهِ عَلَى النَّاسِ حِجُّ الْبَيْتِ that Allah has prescribed for mankind pilgrimage to the house of Allah whoever among them is able and then he quoted from the hadith of Jibreel wherein Angel Gabriel came to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and asked him about what Islam was and he pointed out the pillars of Islam and in it he mentioned Hajj being the fifth for those who were able. This is all to emphasize to us, to remind us that this is a compulsory duty on us. And he quoted another hadith found in Sahih Muslim wherein the Prophet Muhammad had said to his companions that Allah had made Hajj compulsory for them so they should do it. And one of the companions asked, is it every year? And the Prophet Muhammad didn't respond. He asked again, is it every year? Still no answer. And after he asked the third time, is it every year? He responded to him saying that if he had said yes, it would have been to have become compulsory for them to do it every year and they wouldn't be able to do so. It is compulsory once in a lifetime. And it is compulsory as soon as one is able. He talked at length about a tendency which has developed amongst Muslims wherein they delay doing Hajj, putting it off until the latter years of their lives. You know, if you as a young person express to people you're going to make Hajj, they, are, they will ask you, why? Why are you going to make Hajj now? Wait until, you know, this is what old people do. You know, when you're just about ready to die, when you've done all the bad things you can do in life, disobeyed Allah as much as you can, and you've run out of energy, now it's time to go and make Hajj. And because Prophet Muhammad had said that the Hajj which is accepted, the reward for it is nothing but paradise. 